OK, here we go. This is where we see how you might potentially fit on the new Super Meteor 650 by Royal Enfield. At first glance, looking from this side angle, the Super Meteor 650 looks like it might have a shorter wheelbase. But looking deeper, I think what's happening here is the rider position may have been moved back to provide a more comfortable riding experience. Let's see what happens when we place our 5 foot 3 inch rider on the bike. Well, 5 foot 3 looks very comfortable. There is a bit of a reach in the leg and this rider may benefit from a seat that pushes them forward on the bike a little. I'm sure options will become available for riders of this size. 5 foot 6, again even better. I'm predicting that's going to be a very comfortable ride for this size rider. 5 foot 9, yep, still looking comfortable, but I did feel the need to start pushing this size rider back in the seat a little. Now for 6 foot 1, that's me. Actually, that's not too bad. That's very doable. I'm not going to lie, I was starting to get worried when I saw how good the shorter riders looked on this bike. Now the real test, 6 foot 4. You know what? Knees are up a little, but this riding position is still fine in my book. Well done Royal Enfield. OK, now for the all important feet down position. For reference, my renders show the rider with both feet down. Right, my 5 foot 3 inch rider I'm showing will be on the balls of their feet heading towards tiptoes. I gotta say though, I'm predicting this will still be manageable for this rider. For 5 foot 6, the situation gets better with this rider almost, but not quite flat footing. And then from 5 foot 9 inch up, these riders I'm predicting are all comfortably flat footing. If you're shorter in stature, by my estimations, the Royal Enfield Super Meteor 650 should be on your list of bikes to consider. OK, now let's compare your own personal inside leg measurement to this bike. To get your inside leg measurement, measure from the ground to your groin with your favourite riding boots on. Now, Royal Enfield lists the seat height at 740mm and I concur. That's what this official image measures at. Now remember, this image shows the bike unladen. The seat will lower a little as the suspension compresses when the rider's weight is applied. There we have it. The Super Meteor 650 is a mid-size cruiser that I predict will comfortably fit a wide range of riders. But with the rider's comfort being the focus here, by shifting the rider back in the frame a little, this could make life a little more challenging if you plan on carrying a pillion. So keep that in mind. All the evidence suggests to me this is going to be one sweet ride, and I'm going to call it. I'm predicting Royal Enfield are going to have a big hit on their hands with this bike. Let's see if that plays out.